Good day, student. My name is Ajayi Akitundolu Atosi, your physics teacher for today. Topic for today is resistance of a conductor. Behavioral objectives. At the end of this lesson, learners should be able to analyze the concept resistance with emphasis on 1. Definition of resistance 2. Stating factors that affect resistance of a wire 3. Least measurement of resistance 4. Draw a circuit with resistors in parallel and in series connection 5. Solve simple calculation on resistors in series and parallel connection 5. Solve calculation of receivity and conductivity of a wire the content definition of resistance resistance is the amount of opposition given to the flow of electrical current through a conductor of electricity resistance is a measure of the opposition to the current flow in an electric circuit resistance is the opposition that a substance offer to the flow of electric current what we are simply saying is that resistance is just simply the amount of opposition the resistance the hindrance to the flow of electric current in a conductor or in a circuit and resistance is measured in ohms symbolized by a greek letter omega omega ohms study the relationship between voltage current and resistance now let's look at factor that affect the resistance of a wire what are the factors one the length when we talk about the length we are talking about how long is the wire then we now say that resistance is directly proportional to its length the longer the wire the more the resistance of the wire because electron moves further in the material area of cross section we say that when we talk about the area of cross section we say that the resistance of the conductor is inversely proportional to its area of cross section what we are simply saying about the area is that there's no way we talk about the area of the wire without talking about the radius or the diameter of the wire so the area in terms of the thickness the diameter of the wire also matter when we are talking about area of cross sectional area three nature of the material when we talk about the nature of the matter, we say that resistance depends on the nature of the material of which the conductor is made. The resistance of copper wire is much less than that of a nickel wire of the same length and cross-sectional area. So what we are saying is that the nature, what is the material, conducting material made up from? So the nature of the material depends on the composition of the material. The fourth, temperature. When we talk about the temperature, we say that if the temperature of the wire increase, increases, the resistance also what increases. So material that are classed as conductor tends to increase in temperature, but insulator decrease their resistance and increase in temperature. Now let's look at the measurement of resistance. How do we measure the resistance? We can measure the resistance using the one both ammeter method, two wisdom bridge method three meter bridge method and four potential meter method what is a resistor a resistor is a component or device designed to have a known value of resistance all those components and devices which are specifically designed to have a certain amount of resistance and used to oppose or limit electric currents flowing through it are called resistors. So any component, any device that limits electric current flowing through a circuit is called a resistor. Types of resistors. We have various types of resistors based on their, uh, uh, their markets, based on the market uh, diverging sizes or rating. And we said that we have metal film resistor, thick film and thin film resistor, network and surface mount resistor variable resistors special resistors wire wound resistors so there are various types of resistors that we have around and also what is the use of a resistor a resistor can be used to reduce current flow or limit current flow a resistor also can be used to adjust signal level a resistor can also be used as a sensor 
A resistor can also be used to div as a divide voltage and also to terminate transmission line, ETC. So we want to look also again at resistors in series and in parallel. When I come back, we'll look at that. Welcome back. We want to look at resistors in series. When we say resistors are in series, is when two or more resistors are connected end to end so that the same current flows through them all but different voltage so if you look we said that we have resistor r1 r2 and r3 but we said that the same current flows through them but different voltage if there is different voltage then v1 is not equal to v2 is not equal to v3 and so therefore vt which is the total voltage across the circuit is equal to voltage in one plus voltage in two plus voltage in what in the third receipt store so we will not get the total voltage and as according to ohm's law which says that v is equal to ir so therefore i will change my v to ir so it rt that's the total current total resistance is equal to i1 r1 plus i2 r2 plus i3 r3 and we know that i1 is equal to i2 and I2 is equal to I3. So I is common. So therefore, I say that IT, RT is equal to I open bracket R1 plus R2 plus R3. So therefore, resistor connected in series is RT is equal to R1 plus R2 plus R3. That was the formula for resistors in series. Resistors connected in parallel. So when resistors are connected in parallel, we says that they are connected to a common terminal and when they are connected to a common terminal the potential difference across is the same but different current flows through them so in this time we have the same potential difference that's the voltage that's v1 is equal to v2 is equal to v3 but one thing about it is that the current differ and we, therefore we says that the current I1 is not equal to I2, is not equal to what? I3. So we now come down, as we know that V, according from Ohm's law, says that V is equal to I R. So we make I the subject of formula. So when we make I the subject of formula, we put it in the equation. I is equal to I1 plus I2 plus I3. So we now have VT all over RT is equal to V1 all over R1 plus V2 all over R2 plus V3 all over R3. So if we do that, and we know that the voltage across them is the same. So we have a common voltage. So at the end of the day, we say that I1 divided by RT, that's the total resistance, is equal to 1 all over R1, plus 1 all over R2, plus 1 all over R3, plus 1 all over R3, then continue if you have more than three resistors. So that's why we have the dotted line. Resistivity. We say that resistivity is defined as the resistance per unit length per unit cross section area of the material. It's measured in ohms meter. Resistivity is commonly represented by the Greek letter Roy. Resistivity is useful in comparing various material on the basis of their ability to conduct electric current. High resistivity designate poor conductivity what we are saying is that resistivity is just as we are saying that the amount of hindrance and when we are talking about resistivity we are talking we are saying that when we have high resistivity that means then we are saying that that material is a poor conductor but when we have a low resistivity then the material is regarded as a good conductor you know says that the resistance of a conductor is directly proportional to the length of the conductor and inversely proportional to the cross-sectional area of the conductor so mathematically we say that r is equal to roy that resistivity times length divided by the area and if we cross multiply we say that resistivity times length is equal to resistance and area so we now make roy the subject of formula that's resistivity so resistivity is equal to r that's resistance times area divided by the length and when we are talking about area we know that area of a wire is pi r squared or we say that 
pi d squared all over 4. And recessivity is the degree of hydrance to the flow of current through a conductor. Another term we have to understand is electrical conductivity. What do we mean? Electrical conductivity is a reciprocal of recessivity. And when we say reciprocal, that means we say that K, electrical conductivity, is equal to 1 all over recessivity. So from there, we now say that K, electrical conductivity, is equal to L, which is the length, divided by resistance times area of the cross-sectional area. That's the formula for electrical conductivity. K is equal to length divided by R, resistivity times area of the cross-sectional area. Thank you. I'll be right back. Welcome back. Let us look at some activities to engage ourselves. Question 1. Find the current passing through and the voltage across each of the resistor in the circuit below. Yeah, the circuit below, we have three resistors. R1, which 100 ohms. R2, 400 ohms. R3, 200 ohms. They are given in series in a circuit with a potential difference of 7 volt. Now, to calculate resistance in series, we said that RT is equal to R1 plus R2 plus R3. That is the formula for resistors in series. So that means RT is equal to 100 plus 400 plus 200 is equal to 700 ohms. Now, from there, we said the current passing through R1, R2, R3 is the same. And is calculated using Ohm's formula, which we know that V is equal to IR. Therefore, make I the subject of formula. We have I is equal to V all over R. That's voltage divided by resistance. And you know that the voltage has been given in the circuit as 7 volts. So 7 divided by the total resistance, which is 700. So we now have our current as 0 0.01 ampere. Now, from there, we can now find the voltage across each of the resistors. So, voltage across 100 ohm resistor will be 100 times 0 0.01, which will give us 1 volt. Voltage across 400 ohms resistor will be 400 times 0 0.01 is equal to what? 4 volts. Voltage across 200 ohms will be what 200 times 0 0.01 which will give us 2 volt so if we add 1 volt 4 volts 2 volts it will give us 7 volt which was given in the question initially so let's look at another question question 2 in question 2 we say it says that a wire of length 100 centimeter has a resistance of 10 ohms if the cross sectional area is 0 0.0 Zero 0.05 centimeter square determine the resistivity of the wire if we have to determine the resistivity based on the question the length is given in as 100 centimeter the area is given as 0 0.05 centimeter squared so resistance is given as 10 ohms so there's no need of converting to meter so and we know that the formula says that r that resistance is equal to resistivity times length divided by what area if you cross multiply, we have resistivity times length is equal to resistance times area. So to make resistivity the subject of formula, so we now say that resistivity is equal to resistance times area divided by length. So resistance is given as 10. So 10 times 0 0.05, which is the area, divided by 100. So we have our resistivity as 0 0.005 ohms centimeter you must always put your unit behind let's look at another question question three we are given a circuit diagram again they said i'll find the current in the circuit to find the current in the circuit if you look at that diagram very well you find out that we are given two resistors in series and another two in parallel the two in series are 100 ohms and 400 ohms and the two in parallel is 100 and 200 ohms. And we are given a potential difference of 6 volts. Now, the two resistors that are in series, let us add them. You know, formula for resistors in series is R1 plus R2. So, 100 plus 400 will give us 500. And for the resistors in parallel, 100 and 200. So, it will become 
1 divided by 100 plus 1 divided by 200 which we are going to have 3 on 3 all over 200 and if we cross multiply we are going to have resistors in parallel at 66.67 ohms 66.67 ohms from there now we have turned the the diagram to just two resistors in series now you can see another diagram again so now we now need to calculate the two resistors in series and to calculate in series it will be r1 plus r2 so it will be 500 plus 66.67 so if we add the two together we are going to have 566.67 ohms 566.67 ohms so from there now we will now use the ohms law to find the current so making i the subject of formula from the ohms law so i is equal to v all over r so we now say that i is equal to v is our voltage given six volts divided by five point five six six point six seven so the current in the circuit will be zero point zero one zero five nine ampere the current in the circuit will be zero point zero one zero five nine amperes which you can make to three decimal place and also remember to put your unit thank you